move anything off your mat. We are going to start with sun salutations. And in fact, for, for 20 years studying with my teacher, that's exactly how we started. There were no warm ups. We started in sun salutation. So coming up to the fronts of your mats, inhaling in place, exhale, hands in prayer. Step your feet apart, arms up, reach up, look up and arc back. Inhale, straighten out, feet back together. Exhale, reach forward as you fold. Fingertips to the floor, please let your heads hang. Step your left leg back, drop the knee to the mat, or you can keep it off the floor. Bring your hands onto your front knee. Inhale, lift up, sweep the arms up. Fingers are active. Press through your back heel. Turn your hands forward, spread your fingers apart. Come on into whatever version of push-up or plank position works for you either in the full plank or your knees on the floor and your feet crossed at the ankles. Release your knees to the mat if they aren't already. Flatten the tops of your feet. Leave your hands where they are and take your hips back towards your heels. Stretching through the shoulders, the spine, releasing your lower back. And then slowly, nice and low, like a snake in the grass, Slide your torso forward until your chest and your chin alight on your mats. Slide everything out behind you. Bring your fingertips back to align with the edges of your shoulders. On an inhale, roll the invisible alley, looking straight down at the mat, pressing hips and pelvis into the mat. Come on up into baby cobra. Inhaling and exhaling through your nose as much as possible. One more breath in, exhale, lengthen and lower. Curl your toes under, lift your hips up, walk your feet a few inches forward, bend your knees, press your heels towards the mat. Not, pardon me, let's bring belly towards thigh chest towards knees. Keep the knees bent at this point. Press your sits bones towards the back of the mat. Make sure you're optimizing the length of your spine. And now press your heels towards the mat, transitioning half of the weight into the lower half of your body. Feel the stretch in the backs of your knees, your calves, your Achilles tendons, and breathe. Lift that left leg up in the air. Look at your left hand. Swing that foot as far forward as you can. Other leg forward. And let your head hang. Arms beside your ears. Pull your bellies in. Engage your thighs. Sweep the arms in front. Feet apart. Reach up. Look up. Arc back. Inhale. Stretch up. Exhale. Forward fold. Let your heads hang. Bend your knees, inhale, sweep the arms out to the side, reaching up, exhale, hands in prayer. Let's do a second round. Inhale, exhale, hands in prayer. Step your feet apart, arms up, reach up, look up, arc back. Inhale, feet come back together, lift up out of your waist, stretch forward. Fingertips to the floor. Maybe your knees are bent, but if your legs can be straight, great. Step your right leg back, drop the knee to the mat, bring your hands onto your front thigh. And then focusing your gaze for balance. Back leg straight, front knee bent, arms up, holding the invisible beach ball. Maybe this weekend, maybe not this weekend. Turn your hands forward. Spread your fingers apart. Come on into your push-up plank position and breathe. I hope that this position is getting somewhat easier. Unless, of course, you have wrist or shoulder issues. Always be mindful, respectful, compassionate towards your body on any given day. One more breath in. And release the knees to the floor. Flatten the tops of the feet. Leave your hands where they are. Slowly take your hips back towards your heels, stretching the upper part of the body, compressing the belly, 
so much goodness and nourishment in these postures. And then leaving your hands where they are, lower your elbows and forearms and slowly come forward until your chest and your chin alight on the mat. Slide everything out behind you. Draw your fingertips back to align with the tops of your shoulders. Elbows into your side body, forearms to the floor, forehead on the mat. You may wish to spread your feet apart, pressing the tops of your feet and the tops of your toes into the mat. Roll the invisible alley with your nose and on an inhale, we'll all come up into baby cobra keeping your wrists, your elbows, your shoulders aligned, your shoulders down and back away from your ears. And then if you wish, press into the floor. Eyes rolling up, open or close to your third eye, Ajna Chakra. One more breath in, exhale, lengthen and lower. Bring your feet back together if you separated them. Curl your toes under, lift your hips up. Walk your feet a few inches forward. Bend your knees, press your belly to your thighs, press your chest to your knees, and align your ears with your inner arms. Be sure all your fingers and the heel of your hand are pressing into your mat. And then press your sits bones towards the back of your mat to further lengthen and stretch your spine. And then press your heels down towards the mat. Feel the stretch, feel the energy, the vitality, the revitalization, the energizing of Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. <sighs> Inhale the right leg up, looking up, sweep that leg forward other leg forward and let your upper body hang. Arms beside your ears, pull your bellies in, engage your thighs by lifting up on your kneecaps. Inhale, sweep the arms forward, reaching up, stretching up, arcing back. And then inhale, stretch up, exhale, forward fold. Bend your knees, inhale, sweep the arms out to the side, reaching up, hands in prayer, exhale, to your heart center. One more round each side. Inhale, exhale, hands in prayer. Inhale, feet apart, reaching up, looking up, arcing back. Inhale, stretching up, lift out of your waist. Exhale, fold from your hips, reaching forward as you fold. Maybe you're noticing you're getting more of your fingers or perhaps the palms of your hand on the floor. Not the goal, just notice where you're at. Inhaling in place, exhale, step your left leg back and you can drop your knee to the mat, bring your hands onto your front right thigh and then inhale, lifting up, focus your gaze. Your anchor is your back leg, press through that heel, fingers are active and ready to hold your body weight. Bring them forward onto your mat. Take the other leg back. If anything, your bum should be poking up in the air. Please don't sag. Try to lift up out of your shoulders. Pull your bellies towards your spine. Give yourself a yogic hug, bringing your rib cages to, towards one another. Feel galvanized, strengthened. The ability to handle tatiksha, hardships. They come and they go, breathe. And then release your knees, flatten the tops of your feet. Take your hips back towards your heels, releasing the pressure from the wrists, the forearms, the elbows and the shoulders. Let your belly rest on your thighs, maybe your chest too, and breathe. Leaving your hands where they are, release your forearms and elbows to the floor. Slowly come forward until your chest and your chin alight on the mat. Thumbs in the air. Slide everything out behind you. Bring your fingertips to align with the edges of your shoulders. 
Release your forehead to the mat. Elbows into the side body, forearms down towards the floor. Notice how this moves your shoulders away from your ears. Tops of your feet are flat with your toes pointing backwards. Roll an invisible alley. Inhale, coming up into baby cobra. And if you wish, pressing up into the fuller expression. Keeping shoulders down. Don't let your elbows go out. Keep them aligned with your wrists. One more breath in. Exhale, lengthen and lower. Curl your toes under. Lift yourselves up. Walk your feet a few inches forward. Bend your knees. Press your belly to your thighs. Chest to your knees. Align your ears with your inner arms. Pressing all 10 fingers into the mat so you've got space for your carpal tendon that's called your carpal tunnel inside of your palm and now press your sits bones towards the back wall and press your heels towards the mat feel the balls of your feet pressing into the floor we're going to be talking about this uh, while we're doing our yin so just get in touch with the fact that your toes are kind of resting here the balls of your feet are pressing into your mat <sighs> lift your left leg up Look at your left hand, swing that foot as far forward as possible. Other leg forward and let your upper body just hang. Galvanize your thighs by lifting up your kneecaps. Pull your bellies in to protect your lower back. Arms beside your ears. Inhale, sweep the arms in front, reaching up, feet apart for balance. Look up, arc back. Inhale, feet back together, lift up out of your waist. Exhale, forward fold, bend your knees, sweep the arms and circle them out and up. Exhale, hands to prayer. One more round, inhale, exhale. Inhale, step your feet apart, arc back. Inhale, bring your feet back together, lift up out of your waist, exhale. Reach forward as you fold, letting your heads hang. Step your right leg back, drop the knee to the mat, bring your hands onto your front thigh, shoulders over your hips. Inhale, lifting, sweep the arms up, press through that back heel. Really make sure you're anchoring this posture by pressing into that back leg and heel. Turn your hands forward, spread your fingers apart to distribute the weight. Take the other leg forward, draw your heart center over your thumbs, reach your crown forward, pressing all 10 fingers in, building strength, core strength, upper body strength, and the ability to endure hardship. One more breath in. Exhale, release your knees, flatten the tops of your feet, take your hips back towards your heels, lengthening and releasing the upper body. And then leave your hands where they are, slowly come forward, releasing your chest and your chin onto your mats. Slide everything out behind you. Bring your fingers back to line with the tops of your shoulders, elbows into your side body, forearms pressing down to the mat. Roll the invisible alley. You may wish to spread your feet apart. Inhale, pressing up into baby cobra. Maybe this is as far as you're going or you're pressing the floor away from you, coming up into the fuller expression of Bhujangasana. Cobra, eyes rolling up, open or closed. One more breath in, exhale, lengthen and lower. Bring your feet back together if they were separated. Curl the toes under, lift the hips up, walk the feet a few inches forward. Bend your knees, press your belly to your thighs. Press your chest towards your knees. 
align your ears with your inner arms. Send your sits bones to the back of your mat. Press your heels onto the mat. Feel the stretch in the backs of your knees, your calves, your Achilles tendons. Really important if you play any racket sports. One more breath in, exhaling. And then lift your right leg up. Look at your right hand. Swing that foot as far forward as you can. Other leg forward. And then just let your upper body hang in Uttanasana. This lengthens your spine. It releases the tension and reverses the forces of gravity. Bring your arms beside your ears. Engage your thighs. Pull your bellies in. Sweep the arms in front, reaching up. Feet apart for balance. Look up. Arc back. Inhale. Feet come back together. Lift up out of your waist. Exhale. Forward fold, bend your knees, sweep the arms out and circle them up and over. Exhale, hands in prayer. Yay. Okay, take a sip of water and give everybody awake. <laughs> okay. Let's just take a moment in Tadasana. Very important. You know, when I'm starting and I will practice yoga on the beach, I actually just love it. Especially when I look through my legs at the water upside down. I don't know if you guys have ever done it, but kind of cool. Okay, feet are hip width apart. Outsides of your feet parallel to the outsides of your mat. So this is really important. If you're standing washing dishes, put yourself in a position where you're not like this. Bring yourself, as if you're brushing your teeth, you know, just, these are the little things. I might send out little reminders. I'd like to do the little videos, you know, a lot of things we all want to do, right? It's something called time. <laughs> Lift your sternum up. Lower your shoulders. Pull your armpits down. Let your gaze focus on an imaginary horizon. Crown of your head floating up. That is axial extension. You want to look five, 10 pounds thinner? This will do it. And breathe. Okay, legs shake out. Come on up the fronts of your mats for a little vinyasa. Step your right leg back one leg length. Heel of front foot creates a straight line through the arch of your back foot. Bend your front knee. Look and see your big toe inside of your knee. Don't let your torso go forward just because you bent your knee. Keep your shoulders over your hips. Inhale, sweep the arms up to shoulder height. You might want to have a look at the arm behind you and breathe. Now make sure you're pressing into the outside of your back foot and that you're also pressing into the outside of your front foot so that your adductor muscles are engaging your inner thigh, and then inhale, reach that top arm up into exalted peaceful warriors, and then take that arm back further into reverse warrior two, inhale, coming back, into exalted peaceful warrior and come on back into Virabhadrasana 2. Lower your front arm onto your front thigh. Take that back arm and reach it around the front of your body and over your ear. The bottom palm faces up, the top hand palm faces down. Blossom your chest open, your heart center to the side of your mat. Reach through those top fingertips. That top arm is straight. Marie Len, yep, you're reaching it and the palm faces the floor. Palm faces the floor. Front knee should be very bent. You're reaching with your top arm. I think that's Kelsey back there. If you stretch it out, maybe you have an arm issue. I'm not sure. But if you, you have to play, you have, if you have any issues with restriction, 
injury, pay attention to that. And now inhale, straighten your front leg and reach your top arm straight up and your lower arm is straight down. So we're in Trikonasana Triangle Pose. Your front leg is straight. Inhale, reach the top arm up. Exhale, close it and take it to meet the bottom arm. Inhale, sweep it up. Exhale, float it down. Inhale, sweeping up. Exhale, float it down. One more time. Inhale, sweeping up. Exhale, float down. And last time, take it up. And then inhale, come on up, turn sideways on your mats. Arms out at the side, five-pointed star. Exhale, forward fold, halfway. Flatten the tops of your back. Inhale, sweep the right arm up, reaching up, stretching up, looking up. Exhale, float it down. Inhale, sweep the other arm up, reaching up, stretching up. Exhale, float it down. And then once again, let's take that front foot, your left foot, turn it 90 degrees forward. Bring your hands on either side of your left foot. Bend the knee, take it back, and walk your dog. One leg straight, one bent. Relax your neck, let your head hang. Might want to give your head a bit of a shake so you know you're not holding. Take the time to feel what you're stretching. Notice it. Practicing mindfully. And then walk your hands back towards your feet. Bend your knees. Bring your weight into your heels, into the back of your foot. Inhale, coming into chair pose. So you should be able to see your toes in front of your knees. Lifting your gaze after you've had a look at your toes. Exhale, forward fold, let your heads hang. Inhale, come halfway up. Exhale, forward fold, let your heads hang. Bend your knees once again, one more chair pose, Utkatasana. Strengthening for the lower body as well as the core. So the weight is in the heels, not in the top part of your foot, the front part, it's in the back part. Shoulders away from your ears. Inhale, come on all the way up. Exhale, float your arms down. Give your legs a shake out. So we did left foot first. Okay, come on up to the fronts of your mat and step your left leg back one leg length. Make sure the heel of your front foot creates a straight line through the arch of your back foot. So right foot forward, left foot back. Bend that front knee, look down, see your big toe inside of your knee. That knee wants to collapse in, keep it out. Press into the outside of your back foot. This activates these muscles. Inhale, sweep the arms up to shoulder height. You're fixing your gaze over your front fingertips. Lifting up at the sternum, relaxing your shoulders and lengthening your neck. Breathing. If you feel like you're torquing forward, if you're feeling a little bit in your back ribs, make sure you bring your body so that if there are a plumb line through the center of your head, it's gonna come right down through the center of your body. Lower your back arm, down your back leg, reach that top arm up, stretching up, looking up, exalted peaceful warriors, and then reverse warrior, Bring that top arm a little further back. Try not to crunch into your rib cage and hips. Lengthen, think about lengthening. More than bending, lengthening. And bring the arms back to warrior two. Bring your forearm onto your front forearm, onto your front thigh. Take that back arm down, around, in front of your body 
and then reach it over your ear. This opens up your chest, your heart center. Reach through your fingers. Imagine there is a straight line of energy from your back foot all along the side of your body. <sighs> Reaching, stretching, Parjvokanasana. <sighs> One more breath in, stretch. Exhaling, and then inhale, straighten your front leg and let your top arm go straight up directly above the other arm. So the front leg is straight. You're not locking the knee, but it is straight. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, bring the top arm down to meet the bottom. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, reach down. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Inhaling up. Exhale down, and let's just do one more for good measure. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale down, lovely. And then once again, pivot your feet. Place your fingertips on the floor, just below your face, tabletop your back. Let's sweep the left arm up first. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, float it down. Inhale, sweep the other arm up. Exhale, float it down. Let's lunge over to the left, bringing bum close to heel. Inhaling up and over to the other side. Back into the center. Walk your feet in towards one another and bring yourselves down onto your mat. And that's it for Yang. Do take a sip of water.